Okay, the new school way of making uh, slings out of tubular webbing is to use a beer knot. Uh, to tie a beer knot, the first thing you do is you take one end, you cut it off, and you seal it so that the end is open, but so that the, uh, the webbing is, is sealed so it's not going to fray on you. Then you take the other end and you cut it off at a 45 degree angle. Uh, the exact angle is not critical. Somewhere around 45 is, is just fine. Okay, so something like that. Then you're going to take your cigarette lighter or a match and you're going to just melt just the tip of this so that you create a little pocket right here in the very end of that 45 degree angle. So you just, just melt that enough so that it seals that together right there at the end. Okay. Then the next step is to go back to the other end again and tie an overhand knot about 18 inches back from the end here. So you're just going to tie an overhand knot just leave it loose, don't pull it tight, um, in the webbing like that. Then you're going to take this end that you cut off at a 45 and you're going to shove it inside that piece right there. To do that you need a piece of wire, like a coat hanger will work. In this case I've got a piece of welding rod. Uh, I'm just going to take that and I'm going to shove it right down inside that other end. Shove it in there about 15 inches. Uh, it's not critical that it goes exactly that far, but I usually shoot for about 15 inches. Okay, about like that, right there. Okay, then you pull your wire out. Okay, so now you've got your overlap. The next step is to take and move this knot back down right in the middle of that section that you overlapped. So to do that, you just start moving it along here and pulling the, pulling the slack back through until the part that you overlapped actually comes back and passes over and overlaps on itself. Okay. If you do this, kind of keep this trimmed up just so it looks better. It doesn't really affect the strength, but if it gets all twisted, it looks kind of gnarly. So now I have one end of my of my slant of my webbing here. The other tip is right here, and you get pull those so that you have about a three-inch tail on both sides of the knot. And there is the finished beer knot. The harder you pull on this, the tighter it'll get. Um, it's a very neat looking knot because you're, you don't have any tails flopping around. And if you do it right, you won't have any twists in your webbing. Um, it'll be nice and neat like that. So that is a beer knot.